Hey scrappy friends, it's Audrey. Thanks for joining me today. I have a page for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Uh, this month, every day, uh, Confessions of a Paper Addict is releasing a new cut file. And today's cut file is called Stacked Frames. And it's kind of like a doodly lined, uh, outlined frame with some flowers around the edge. So I have two photos I'm going to work with. And I am sizing my cut files so that the inside is about 3 by 4 because that's how big my photos are. And I just kind of click and drag the, the frame until like the inside matches the grid um, on the back of the, the, the cutting mat there, the cutting mat diagram. So I can, I just use the squares and count the 3 squares by 4 squares and that's how I... Um, sized the, these frames. And then I wanted a couple of extra flowers to kind of scatter around the page. So I ungrouped um, the originals and then I copy and pasted extra flowers and I'm going to cut those out and I'm trying to kind of space them here to to uh, maximize my, you know, get the most out of my paper uh, when I cut it out from my, uh, my cardstock here. So um, there are the files all cut out and you can see how pretty those are. So I'm going to use this piece of pattern paper to back the um, to back the flowers on all of the the cuts and I this I think this paper yeah most of the stuff I'm using is from like a May or June hip kit club kit from this year and this piece of pattern paper I really didn't see how I would be using it any other way besides cutting out these squares and using the different colors for something so um, I'm just going to kind of use all, all these different colors and, and shades and and values of these colors. So um, I used a fine line glue bottle. It's filled with um, scotch, quick dry, tacky glue. It used to be called quick dry and they changed a couple years ago to just tacky glue. Um, and I, there's def obviously def several different ways you can back a cut file, but um, the, the lines on this cut file um, were very thin. Um, so it, it wasn't gonna work for me, I didn't think, to trace to trace the shape and then cut it out. Um, I did try that with a couple of the smaller flowers, and it, this 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 method just worked better for me for this um, this file. So here are uh, my all my flowers back. I got all those different um, colors, and I just love this color combo. It's so pretty. As I was going through this kit, um, this piece of pattern paper struck me with these colors of the flowers. I've seen so many people use this piece of pattern paper in just such gorgeous ways. Um, the burst is just so pretty. The colors are awesome. So um, the colors kind of match the colors of my flowers. So I'm just going to use a little smidgen of it in the corner and it will bring in um, a lot of, of color to my page, a lot more color to my page. And I kind of positioned the sunburst of this um, paper behind uh, one of my photos so that it was kind of coming out from behind the photo. So I got that glued on and I'm going to go back and do some mixed media over this. So I'm going to put some white gesso here cover that pretty good. I really didn't want to cover up the color too much um, on the background paper. And then I'm going to go through with some different mists and some different Distress Oxide inks. This is Heidi Swap Color Shine in Seafoam and then um, Distress Oxide ink. I think one's called like Lucky Clover and the other one's like the Citron. And I'm kind of trying to match that greenish color in the bottom right of the sunburst paper, but I definitely want to bring in some of that kind of citron green and pick up on the yellow a little bit. So I'll just do some splatters and mix those up. It's really hard to get this wrong. Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess like, you know, colors can be tricky sometimes, like matching if you're trying to match a color to your paper, but mixed media, I mean, you really are just pushing colors around the paper and just add different colors and different spots and um, yeah, it's 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 hard to mess up mixed media, especially if you're going for the messy look. It looks intentional, um, even if it's sometimes it's not what you planned. But so I put my photos in there, kind of just gauging if I have enough color where it's going to peek out. If the photos are going to cover it too much or if I've got enough. Okay, so that is done and has dried. I'm going to set my photos on here, and I like that. That's super super cute. Um, let me scatter these around, see what they look like. When I'm scattering my bits, I'm trying to balance the colors. So, like, I have a couple really dark red um, flowers, so I'm making sure that they are spaced out kind of equally. And I, by the way, I added a little bit of um, color to the bottom left because I'm thinking about 
doing a cluster of some sort there. So I felt like my flowers needed some leaves and I pulled out this Vicky Booten. What the heck is that thing? I don't know if anybody has this, this die cut pack, but this is like the second or third time I've opened it. And this, that particular cut I just showed you on the camera, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It looks like a fish with ice cream coming out of its mouth and like a lantern or something. I, I don't know. Um, so I just I just showed it to you there. I, don't, I just don't get that one. Um, these, these die cuts are so huge. Like, that, that's my one criticism about this particular die cut pack. They're so big. So I'm taking this leaf one um, and I'm going to cut it up. I had, uh, I think there were two, two leaves left. I must have used the other ones. And I think if you cut it right, then you can get the most out of it. Um, so yeah, I was able to cut this one big one up into a few smaller pieces. So I am going to make some type of cluster in the bottom left. And I felt like I needed to pick up on some of the colors coming out of the starburst, uh, the pattern paper in the background. So I'm just going to use this tag that says, it says color lover, um, but I'm going to cover up the lover because I don't like that phrase. Um, and I'm going to make, I'm going to make the word color into a title somehow. So it's a tag and I'm getting, I had these like tag reinforcements from like very simple stories, sticker pack. They're, those are pretty old. And yeah, so this will be my little embellishment cluster down here. Um, I decided that my photos needed some type of backing, even though you don't really see it a lot behind the um, cut file, it just needed something there. And so I went with a little bit of a blue um, pattern paper that I just found in my, my stash um, to kind of bring in some of the blue from the starburst paper because I didn't have very much of that blue on the page. Um, so that just brings in a tiny bit more blue, which I like. And then it also it also gave me a little bit more space to glue my cut file on top of my picture again because the the lines in the frame were so thin that um, yeah I needed something to glue them to and my, my my photo was actually a teeny bit small but it worked out just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop these two photos off the page. my kiddos were every spring we go to the farmer's market and we pick out some flowers and greenery to put in our pots on our front porch and they get the job of make sure they each get the same amount and the same colors and then they each get to uh, do their own pot on our front on our front steps so and that's about as much as they contribute to the yard work for the rest of the <laughs> For the rest of the spring and summer but um, okay so I'm gonna start popping up all these flowers you can see I, I added in a few like um, clear stickers I think those are from a Maggie Holmes sticker pack just a few tiny ones a tiny a few tiny butterflies and um, tiny other flowers and then I have a little birdie sticker that I put on my tag so I'm just gonna arrange this cluster here on the tag somehow I really like what the um, the dark green leaves bring to this. I think it, it just needed that that greenery. And I'm popping everything up. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I happen to be going through some things and found this stair sheet from an old Hip Kit Club kit, and it's um, a Paige Evans collection. Is it In Bloom? I think that's the name of the collection. But it had some phrases about flowers, which was perfect. So one says, you know, bloom where you're planted, and the other one says, I love flowers, and I'll put a little snail sticker on there, and a little ladybug. My kids would love that. Yeah, and it's spring, so hello spring. Perfect. The colors were perfect. Um, yeah, just a little, little something more to add. Now I will add a little label sticker in the top for my date, and what else do I do? Um... I really don't do too much else. I add, oh yeah, I add twine to my tag, and that's pretty much it. So I'll go through, I have some small um, letter stickers that I'm going to, so I decided, I had to use the word color for my title, so I decided to make it plant some color, and those are some tiny basic gray stickers, and I added my journaling right on that tag, and that's it. So there is the finished page, and you can see some close-ups. Oh, I, got, I, I added enamel dots. I forgot to show that. 
so I must have recorded that. <laughs> I added enamel dots to the center of each flower, but you can see all the cut the cuts there. Uh, such a cute cut file. I love this cut file. The frame is so pretty. You could cut it out of pattern paper or colored cardstock too. It would be super cute. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please go check out the Confessions of a Paper Addict store. You'll get to see all the new cut files this month. And stay scrappy, my friends.